This is BigBrotherNetwork.com here with Big Brother house guest Aaron. Aaron, tell Big Brother Network readers about you and your background. What about you would have stood out during casting that got you here? Well, I was raised on a ranch. I was born in Texas. I lived in Colorado for six years with my mom where I went to high school and middle school. And now I'm a college student at Texas State University. And I'm a psychology major. All right, so on the Big Brother fan scale, are you a complete newbie, casual viewer, hardcore fan? Well, now I'm a hardcore fan, okay. but when I applied, I was casual. Okay. <laughs> but you know what you're getting into then? Oh, yeah. All right. And what made you want to audition for Big Brother and be willing to put yourself on 24-7 cameras and microphones? Because it looks like the most fun ever. Duh. <laughs> money secondary? Well, yeah, the yeah. money. Of course the money, but... <laughs> All right, what will you miss the most while locked away in the Big Brother house for possibly, hopefully, the entire summer? I hope. Well, I talk to my family every day and my friends, so that's hard. It's already been hard being sequestered and not being able to get advice. I, take, I, get, I ask for advice all day, every day, it seems like, from my friends and family. <laughs> right, so on the other side, what's something you're excited to have a break from? Well, I'm, all, I'm excited to have a break from my phone, to be honest, because I feel like I'm always glued to it, and it's, it's been partially nice to be just alone and have some time to clear my head and just kind of chill. When you're by yourself, you learn things about yourself. We you don't have someone to bounce ideas off of. It's just you. All right. So name one trait about you that you think will help you in the game this year. I can read people very well. <laughs> Is that from your, uh, your studies? Not from my studies at school, but it's from, I've been interested in psychology for a long time. I read my own psychology books like a nerd. <laughs> All right, so do you have a strategy for Big Brother? Will you be a physical, social, alliance, floater, what sort of player? Well, I'm not throwing any competition, and I'm going to try my hardest to win as many of them as I can, and I'm going to play social game pretty hard, read people. <laughs> Now, how far are you willing to go to win Big Brother? Would you do something inside those walls that you might not do back home? I would definitely do something that outside, I mean, I would definitely do something inside the Big Brother walls that I wouldn't do elsewhere because, well, it's A, it's Big Brother, and sometimes you have to do that to win. I mean, sometimes there's no other option. And I would like to, I don't want to go against my morals and values, but, you know, we're here for a reason, and it's to win. So imagine this scenario. Your ally's on the block, and you're competing for the power of veto. To win that veto and save your ally, would you, yes or no, be willing to accept the falling punishments? Burn the clothes you're wearing. Just the ones I was wearing? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Take a chum bath every hour for a whole day. How strong is this ally? This is like my final two deal? Sure, it can be. <laughs> OK, yeah. I'll bathe in chum. Shave your head. No. No? Mm -mm. Later, Larry. Eat slop for a week. Yes. For a month. Well, who knows? Maybe I could get in really good shape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lastly, uh, would you give up your opportunity to compete for the next week's HOH? No. No. All right, so say it's the first week of competition. Will you come out swinging and try to win everything, or will you lay low and avoid power and the tension with it? No, because if I avoid power, then I could be the one on the block. So that's too much of a gamble. I'm going to try and win as many things as I can, because more than likely, I'm not going to be good at at least half of the competitions. I'm not good with numbers. And I hope that there's not a number game when it's my veto and I'm on the <laughs> block, because I'll lose it. All right, are you hoping that you'll leave this game uh, with your legacy being known as a fan hero or seasoned villain? A seasoned villain? What? Villain. Oh, I thought you, you said villain. A... No, no, no. Sorry. I don't want to be a villain. No, no villain? No. You want to be the fan hero, huh? You yeah. want everyone to like you. Yeah. All right. So let's picture that it's the end of the season. You've made it to the finale. Final two. You're about to face the jury. Would you rather them vote for you based on your emotional connections or competitive victories? Competitive victories. All right. So lastly, go ahead and tell our readers at BigBrotherNetwork.com why you are the house guest they should root for this season. 
they should root for me this season because I am going to play a social game and I'm not going to stab people in the back unless I absolutely have to. I'm not just going to kick everyone's ass and take names until it until that's my only option. So I'm going to be a good girl <laughs> until I have to be mean. All right. Thank you, Erin, <laughs> and good luck. We'll be watching. Thank you. All right.